Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. The problem is that determining the reactions at the smooth contact points A, B, and C on the bar. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Libella. So we have a bar here, and uh, there is a force being exerted okay, at the very end of magnitude 200 and uh, uh, 250 newtons. All right, uh, at an angle perpendicular to the bar 30 degrees. So we we'll need to draw the free body diagram as well as the components of that particular force. So at A, we expect a reaction force. I mean a normal force in that direction. We are going to have a normal force in that direction. And we are going to call it C. Let's call it C. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, at then at B, we are going to have another normal reaction, which is normal to the surface like so. Okay, and this one we are going to call it B. Then there we'll have a normal reaction from that surface that will be coming down like so. And then we'll call it A. Right. Um, so what do we need to do now? Uh, we now need to resolve the forces that we need to resolve in their components so that we find uh, this reaction force A, C, B, and A. Okay, great. So our coordinate system will be like this. This will be our coordinate system. This will be our X and this will be our Y. Okay. So let's get some components. We expect a component there. We expect a component there. And this we are going to call it 250 cos 30. And then we'll have another component in that direction. We'll have another component in that direction we'll call it as 250 sine 30 right so we've uh, picked some components in those directions we need another component we need another components in uh, uh, this direction here uh, in this direction like this Okay, just one minute. Okay, so we'll have some components also in this direction here. Um, this angle here, so if you've seen the bar, we have this 30 degrees there. Therefore, it means this angle here also is going to be 30. Okay, you can check out. Okay, this, this is going to be 30. So this becomes a B. B cos 30. So let me just collect it somewhere let me use another color for this so let me use green so we'll have some component we'll have another component there i need those components this one we say this is 30 degrees so this one is going to be equal to b cos 30 then we'll have another component in this direction like this so this will call it b sign 30. Right. And then we'll have another component in this direction. Uh, the line is not good enough. In that direction like that. This angle here and then another one in that direction like so. Alright. This angle here is 30. So this one here is going to be equal to A cos 30. Then this one here is going to be equal to A sine 30. Right. Um, so this is enough. This is enough information. We can now begin to take uh, moments so that we find what we need to find. Great. So what we are going to do now is uh, Take moments about point B, 
Uh, take moments about point B. Of course, we'll have a number of unknowns. How many unknowns do we have? We have one, two, three. So we need three equations, right? Which we are going to solve simultaneously. Great. That's fine. I'm going to do so. So let's say we take moments about point A, point B. Uh, take moments about point B. Then later on, we can come and take moments about uh, point A. Oh, yeah, point A, and then summation of forces in the X. Right. So, summation of moments about point A equal to zero. Um, equal to zero. Mm -hmm. And clockwise being our reference. Okay, about point A. Uh huh. About point A. So what do we have? We have um we have this component uh, which is two fifty cos thirty. That's a clockwise moment negative times the lever arm, which is point six. Mm -hmm. and then we have a clockwise moment of 250 sine 30 times uh, this is clockwise this is unclockwise so sorry this one is positive and this one here is negative this one that is negative so by 0 0.15 all right and then we have another uh, clockwise due to c so minus c times uh, 0 0.2 okay and then later on we have another one minus uh, b sine 30 by 0 0.15 equal to 0. Great. So let me just maybe move this a little bit this side. I move them like so. Great. So we have this equation which we can simplify. So after finding this, let's simplify this one. Let's simplify the moment, the, the, the moment. Uh, summation of moment about point A. So we have 250 uh, cos 30 by 0. 0.6. So this is the 130. The 130 minus, uh, I think let me finish off that. I just won. 250 uh, cos 30 by 0. 0.6 minus 250 uh, sine 30 by 0. 0.15. So we have. Uh, one 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 point one five three eight two fifteen cos thirty uh, by point six minus two fifty sine thirty by point one five. All right, so minus zero point uh, two c or uh, minus. 0.15 by sine 13. Uh, this is going to be equal to 0.075b equal to 0. So then we are going to apply the summation of forces in the y. Apply the summation of forces in the y direction. So we have a minus 250 uh, cos 30. And then we have plus c. Then we have plus B cos 30. Then we have minus A uh, cos 30 equal to 0. So if we are to simplify this, minus 215 cos 30, this gives me uh, minus 2, 216.550. Uh, six four plus 
c plus cos 30 which is just a 0 0.8660 b minus 0 0.8660 a equal to zero then we have finally summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero so we have a minus uh, 250 sine 30 and then we have a minus uh, b sine 30 then we have a, a plus a sine 30 equal to 0. So a 250 sine 30, this is just going to be equal to 125 uh, minus 0 0.5b uh, plus 0.5a. Alright, so we are going to make a subject of the formula so that we write this in terms of B and then solve the two equations simultaneously. So we'll say A, therefore, is just going to be equal to uh, 125 by 0.5. So this becomes a 250 uh, plus uh, a B. So we we'll replace this equation. We we'll replace this equation uh, here. Okay, so once we do, then uh, we are going to have the following expression. Once we do, we are going to have the following expression minus 2, 16.5064, uh, minus 0 0.8660 uh, times 250. So here I will have a minus 433.8. 0064 okay plus c uh, plus plus c plus there's a b here so this b also will add up so this is going to be equal to 0 0.8660 um minus 8 minus 0 0.8660 uh, so this will give us a zero right this will give us a zero so this is just going to be equal to zero so this is going to be like this right so when we plug in 250 there um b and that one there will cancel out and then this and this will add up with that therefore our c is just going to be equal to 433.433 itself just 433 uh, newtons okay so once we find c uh, once we find c we can find what uh, since we know what a is equal to we can plug in C in there so that we find B. So using this equation, using this equation, let's find the value of B. The value of B therefore is just going to be equal to. So we're using that equation. We are plugging in. Uh, we are plugging in here C. We are plugging in C that we're just from finding C, which is equal to a four three three. Okay. So 111.1538 minus 0.2 times 433, then we have that, and then divided by uh, 0 .00, uh, 0 0.075. Okay, so we have a B which is equal to a 327. It will be equal to three twenty seven point uh, three eight newtons, and then finally we can find what a is using this equation here. We we'll use this equation down here. 
here so let's just plug in what b is we found that b is equal to 327.38 and let me reconfirm it again 111.1538 minus 0.2 times c which is 433 uh, then um, divided by 0 0.0775 327.38 okay so finally that equation 250 plus 327 327.38 gives us um, a a which is just equal to this here just gives us an equation of a which is equal to uh, a 577.38 newtons great so this is really about it we found what the value of a is uh, it's a 577.38 we found what the value of b is it's a 327.38 and we found what the value of c is uh, it is a 433 so a has the largest value right followed by c and then later on b all right i think this is really about it and i hope the video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up like my video and continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast